Well, we put our uh, squash out into the earth garden seven weeks ago today, and uh, they've they've done their job. They've got some squash for us, and we're gonna go out there. We're gonna pick us some squash. And we're gonna come back over here to the processing station, clean it up a little bit, and we're gonna take it inside and cook it up. Let's go. We got some mighty pretty ones out here. Let me, uh, we're gonna grab the ones that are ready and uh, we'll take them over to the processing station and get them ready to go. These things will keep on producing, so I just take the ones that are good enough to eat and let the rest of them keep on growing. Let's see what we got. When they get up about that size right there, this is the perfect size. It's a little small, still even still has a flower on the end. That right there is so tender and sweet. That's very succulent. And you want to harvest all your harvest, always harvest in the morning. This has been um, pulled up the water from last night and in the cool of the morning. And that fruit is just as good as it's going to ever be. You can tap it and you can almost feel the vibrations of how full and rich that piece of fruit is. That's what you want. Now let's get some. Okay, that's the first bush and I'm gonna let the rest of that continue to grow you see what I got off of one like I say they're prolific producers so be careful and don't plant too many of these things that's three plants right there and I could have picked a whole bunch of more of the little bitty ones but I went ahead and left them so I, I don't have so much to cook today and now we're down here to the last plant the zucchinis and these these things grow so fast that you have to really keep an eye on them because before you know it, they will have grown beyond being good. That's about the right size for sauteing it can get a little bit bigger maybe even about as big as that that's a pretty good size for a zucchini as you can see if you don't get them in time they grow real quick so we'll, we'll take that for today and let's go clean that up I'm gonna cook me some squash I'm gonna have to pull up a couple onions to go with it so let me grab a couple more onions. Hey, I got me a bucket full of onions. We'll clean them up and get them ready to go in the pan with that squash. While I'm working on cleaning up these onions, I'm gonna let Nancy be working on the squash.
beauty. a little tub of squash and zucchini I'm gonna cook this up in the house and we're gonna eat some this afternoon and I'll save the rest of it for later another day and freeze it and got some nice little batch of onions to go with it because it sure tastes but tastes good with these fresh sweet onions in there with it sauteed down so I'll meet y'all up in the kitchen all right we got it all cleaned up got in the house I'm gonna saute this squash down and uh, make us a nice little side dish for lunch and then i'm going to cook all of it up today take me two or three um, times of cooking it and but uh, we'll eat some today and then i'll put the rest in ziploc bags and put the date on it and freeze it and we'll get to eat those later so we got a lot of squash coming in and we're going to have a lot of a little bags put in the freezer for later so let me show you what I do because it's pretty easy not much to it I take a half a stick of butter put that in there I chop up some of them onions I just pulled out of the garden put them in here oops oops and then I chop slice up the squash and just thin slices like that and put it on and I'll, I'll continue doing that and I'll fill this pan all the way up until I can just barely get the lid on it and because it, it fills up the pot real big but it cooks down real slow I mean real low so uh, fill the pot up stir it often and I'll warm it up on like um, like medium and I'll cook it on medium to medium high until I get the right consistency so let me finish chopping this up filling this pot up and we'll be back in a little while and I'll show you what the end result looks like okay I got I got the squat squash chopped up in here last thing I do is I add a little bit of salt you can add however much of that you want and some pepper We'll set that on medium, put a lid on it, come back in a little while and stir that and I'll show you what it looks like when it cooks down. We'll be back in a little while. All right, I think we're about ready here. Let me show you what we got. It cooks down and it looks like that consistency there and it's kind of soft. To me, that right there, that's ready to eat. I'm going to dip up a little bowl here for my little girl wife so she can have a little snack. Give her a little snack. And uh, I'll come back and finish cooking up all this squash. Let me set this right here just to show you what it looks like. Can y'all smell that? Take a sniff of that. That smell good. <laughs> oh my goodness. So there we go. That's my sauteed squash. It's not rocket science. It's science. Even men can do it. <laughs> but it sure tastes good. And coming out of the garden like that and coming right in here and slicing it up. Yum, yum. So if you liked our videos, please subscribe and be a part of our family. And I'll always remember. Bye, Bye fans. fans. We, we are fed. Give, Give us Lord our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. 
Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it, it would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.